The song of our people is playing. What? The song of our people. Oh, the song of our... Okay. <laughs> yes, it is. I had equipped Shiva and upgraded all the abilities, so we'll try those out, and then we'll see what's going to permanently stick around. I have temporarily replaced Bahamut, but the most likely thing is it's actually going to stick around still, but we'll see. Wait, you replaced Bahamut with Shiva? Mm-hmm. What? That's like the worst way to go about testing these. <laughs> so we have two pluses and a main side quest and then a main quest with Vivian here. There's not really a good way to go about this. Giant circle, here we go. I think I just have to, like, weirdly enough, I think the best way to go about it is just to go, we. <laughs> <laughs> And then we're going to go upstairs by the hunt board. That's two. And then we're going to go around the back. And then... There's even more map on... Uh, green on the overworld map, too. Don't remember if that was something that we triggered last time. Or... What happened? Uh-oh. Oh, dear. Uh, We've walked into a thing. Straight to main quest? Where are you? Can I help you, Sid? I'm looking for Doris. Is she here? I'm afraid not. She's at Martha's rest on a job. My job, actually. When she heard what the mission was, she insisted on going herself. Alone. Did she? What was the mission? Following up on some new information. Once they'd settled in, the bearers you helped liberate in the Dragon's Airy were keen to talk about their imprisonment. And about their captor. The slaver Cole's team were tracking when they were attacked by the Beastmen. I'll go and find her. She's at Martha's rest, you say? If she's not moved on already, yeah. I hope everything's all right. Thanks, Charon. Maybe Cole was right to be worried. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, there's one. Oh my god, more blues! Then did you? What bad news? About Dravosh, Blackthorn's old haunt. Yeah, well, so anyway, we're going back to this the now. Mine's, okay, mine's spewing out ether. Oh. in the village. The okay. Zoltan and needs help. Things, ain't done so sure. Okay. I can help with that. It escalated quickly. I'm here for it. I it might be better if you reckon we should tell him. No. <laughs> no, let's not. Yeah, probably for the best. Given the name of the quest, though, it seems like he's going to end up finding out, but... Yeah, probably. I don't know if I trust August to really keep secrets, but whatever. Okay. Uh, I don't. It looks like it's down, so it must be in mid's dungeon. How was she? <laughs> Great. Uh, nope. Almost fell into the ocean, but uh, other than that, we're fine. Oh yeah, we don't let this guy talk. It's hot. Great. New smelter. Cool. Sure. If it's for the good of the hype. Oh. So. Couple of examples here. Spherical echoes. Yeah. Fallen stuff. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Lovely. Mm -hmm. They had to shrink the font. There was so much in that dialogue there. <laughs> you may be noticing, dear viewer, that I'm being more aggressive about skipping these side quests. Mm -hmm. It's because I'm tired of them. Yeah, it's kind of Because there's too goddamn many. Mm -hmm. All right. I think that's everything for here except the main quest, of course. Let's see if you were right about the other stuff. There was three over here. Oh, there's all sorts of green all over the goddamn place. <laughs> mm -hmm. I see two, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine green quests. <laughs> now, three of those are connected to even weirder science. That's all the same quest. But nonetheless, I'm still thinking about eating a bullet. Yep. That's I just fair. picked here first. I have no rhyme or reason for it. I just did. 
Okay, we got one here at the Vale. And one out there. Um, I guess we'll take the one that's here first, just on the off chance. It gives us a quest that's out there somewhere that we can... Two birds, one stone? <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> sure. Whatever you say. I'm a broken and battered man. I have nothing left that I want from this world <laughs> except the main story. <laughs> and you could argue, well, you could just do it. Yeah, but... Some of these are pluses, so they usually unlock stuff. Mm-hmm. What am I to do? My wards and I may soon be without a home. What's happened? The High Cardinal has descended from his lofty throne and taken up residence here in Northreach. The High Cardinal? The Ew. leader of the Council of Elders, second only to his radiance at the head of the Imperial government. Not that any of those things still exist. Now he goes by his noble title, the Duke of Oriflam. And what does he want with Northreach? He wants to transform it into a military stronghold, a foundation upon which to build a new Sambrek. He's already secured the support of the various army remnants, with promises that they shall be afforded the respect they deserve in his empire, one built on the confiscated property of the people. He would rob the populace to pay for it. Believe me. I have used every means of persuasion to discourage him from this folly. But for whatever reason, he will not listen to me. What does Captain Philippe make of this? When the town was under attack, it was him the soldiers rallied around. Couldn't he use that influence again? How? By speaking out against one of the most powerful men in Sambrek. A man whose stated aim is to revive the Empire Philippe's comrades swore to serve, and to improve the soldier's lot within it. The captain can offer them a regular supply of gruel, and an occasional trip to the Vale to help them forget the terrors they face each day. The Duke offers them a vision of strength and safety. No. Any attempt to incite mutiny would cost Philippe the support of his men. If it did not cost him his life, for given the mood around town, mutiny may yet be unavoidable. The people have little appetite for further deprivation, least of all when it serves only to elevate others. Who could blame them? Clive, would you appeal to the Duke on my behalf for your services to Northreach? You have the respect of the soldiers, and they will take you to his eminence if you ask them. And unlike Philippe, no bonds of loyalty prevent you from speaking your mind to the man. Well? I'll see what I can do. Thank you. Tell me then, in the garrison. Overseas. All right. It is interesting. Yeah. I mean, like the the political stuff is interesting when you're when this is a spot to use Clive, so that's good. Like mm -hmm. he has not only dealings with like higher ups and dukes and before, stuff, but at the remembrance ceremony. But this is a good use of him. Make a strong impression. <laughs> then fetch quests are a less good use of him. Oh, one hundred percent. There, they they brought up the remembrance ceremony again. I want to know what that is. Damn it. <laughs> Can't bring it up more than once and then just be like, yeah, that thing that happened. I don't remember shit. <laughs> <laughs> we already have a leader in the dime. Yes, we do, ma'am. In the dime. <laughs> oh, oh. Whoop. Halt. Oh, sorry about that. <laughs> You're the dame's man, aren't you? I was like, didn't we kick your ass <laughs> before? Halt. No, actually. With the Duke. I was hoping I might be able to speak with him. We're under orders not to let any civilians pass. But you should be all right. His eminence has heard all about you and your heroics. Wait here. I'll go and ask. He's like eight feet away. Well, it's <laughs> just... Hey, Duke. Gotta run over. Hey. You gotta get right up in his face. You can't speak you loudly to him. sword who lent his aid to the garrison. The Empire owes you a debt, and I shall see it repaid. Yeah, just leave out the part where I 
Is it wealth that Defected. you seek or favor? <laughs> Neither, Your Eminence. I thought only to inquire about your plan to turn Northreach into a stronghold. Ah, I see. You are worried the expanded garrison will render your services redundant. Mm. Uh. You needn't be. A proud fighting man like yourself shall always have a place here. Pride of place, in fact. For too long has the contribution of the noble soldier been underreckoned, but no more. For it is they who shall see the holy empire rebuilt, beginning right here in Northreach. Why here, your eminence? The town has been fortunate enough to escape largely unscathed from the recent troubles. True. Her defenses are sound uh -huh. and her garrison well prepared. Which is more than can be said for Oriflam or Twinside. The Empire wants for a capital, and I believe Northreach to be the perfect place. With Cair Norvant as her citadel. Once we have seen to the refortification of both the town and the castle, we need only build a wall around both to create a city that would be the envy of the twins. Plans are already underway for the construction. Soon enough, these thralls shall learn that they are no match for the might of Sandbreck. I fear you underestimate how dangerous these creatures are, Your Eminence. Should they return in force, you will need all the people of Northreach to come together in defense of the town. Something they may be loath to do if they've been deprived of their worldly goods. The people will do as their leaders command. If Sandbreck is to be rebuilt, she will require a functioning government. One whose authority is beyond question. That is why this levy is necessary. So that any man who wishes to join the army might do so and be fed, outfitted, and paid as befits a defender of the Empire. <laughs> and yet there are those who persist in peddling the treasonous lie that I seek to steal from the people and drive them from their homes. I suspect they're afraid of losing what little they have left. Precisely. The uh, who, who are you? <laughs> the common folk have little and less, and you mean to deprive them of even that. You would sow the seeds of your new empire in your own salted earth. Sabine, we have discussed this. Yes, and I told you then how putting the empire before her citizens would lead only to revolt. Without an empire, there are no citizens. And in yours, there will be only beggars. Is that what Griga wills for her people? Do not take her name in vain, Sabine. I'll come back later. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, no. Yeah. The citizens revolt. I wonder what the people really think of the Duke's plan. It wouldn't hurt to ask them, I suppose. Let's begin with those on the other side of the wall. <laughs> nope, nope. <laughs> Quick travel, we can't walk 20 feet? That's crazy. Hell no. I got things to do. Things to do, places to be. I've been hearing a lot of talk. Nothing. Going around, and we've hardly... I take it... Just need to... She's a dame supporter. That's what you missed. Yep. <laughs> what you Perfect. missed, dear viewer. Mm-hmm. All right. Uh, actually, now that I can see a little better, what do we... Okay, so one there, and then one on the left. Right there, just your opinion. I wondered what you... <laughs> Not much, thanks to me. Now, he's trying to die. Mm. Doesn't like him, supports the dame. Yep. Half of what comes in is barely fit for pressing. The garrison salvaged what life could be. A question. What do you think of... Mm. <laughs> <laughs> will do. Whatever. Doesn't like it, doesn't mention the dame. United enough. What about the soldiers? Torgal, what do you think about the soldiers? Other side. No real way to shortcut that one. Just gonna have to suck it up. Yeah, that one we are gonna have to walk the 20 feet. 
Whoops a doodle. The irony in this, of course, that we are well aware of, even though the world has not been privy to these cutscenes, is the fact that leadership in various cities has been fucking terrible. Do you think he was the only one? Mm -hmm. Generally to the detriment of its own citizens, which... Yeah, the Duke is... Uh, just there's no country, there are no citizens. It's like, sure, if you want to talk about, like, you know... By Excuse wording. Mm -hmm. <laughs> if well, I mean, look, the traders might think the Duke's got a point. And if that means... Okay, kind of likes the Duke. I keep forgetting where I'm going. Oh, I'm just out there and then left and right. Got it. We already have a leader in the day. I already heard you say that line. <laughs> one at a time now. Is enough for us? You. You're the one who's on his behalf. <laughs> you. You. <laughs> I'm a soldier, mate. I'm a soldier. I'm a straight up G. My loyalties. If the Duke can get... My loyalties are to whomever has the wind twists. Yep, because I'm the cynical one. You are embarrassing. <laughs> Still going on? Great. <laughs> Good. Oh, I, I um, thought I had missed it. Were you up top? Torgo, I'm sorry. I need you to move. <laughs> Sweet boy. Aha. I hear the Duke of Oroflam plan. Do you think that's a good idea? It's not all I know. Is Look. Once Sandbreak is... Pretty neutral, but generally supportive of the Duke. Mm -hmm. All right. Um, you know what the problem is? I'm mm. realizing huh. <laughs> because I think I jokingly made the main quest the priority, so I have to keep having to look here because it's not like there's no map icon. There's nothing that direction. Oh. I think it's because I prioritized one of the other quests, and now it's not. You know oh. what I mean? That makes sense. Whoops. <laughs> we uh, prioritized badly. Whoops. Because <laughs> I'm like, once I get close to one of these things, I should be able to start seeing the icon. Mm-hmm. Captain. For you, certainly. Thank you for last time. How can I help? I wanted to ask you if you intend to, to tell you that it's my sworn duty, I believe. I remember <laughs> you saying that you must right. Well. This is tough for him because he loves the dame. Mm-hmm. Thank you, Clive, for teaching <laughs> the people. I, I don't know why I needed to help you find that out, but I'm glad I could help. I'm just so vulnerable with my emotions that it makes it easy for other people to also be vulnerable <laughs> with their emotions. Seems Philippe wants to do that. I'm 50-50 on it. Well, on one half, there's this guy who just came to town. On the other half, there's this woman I love. <laughs> Uh, well, that's tough. That's a trick. That's a head scratcher. <laughs> <laughs> Not sure what to make of it. Do I ever want to get laid again, or... <laughs> oh, maybe the Duke can do that, actually. Wait. I mean, that's, that's fair. <laughs> <laughs> I hadn't considered that before. Thank you, Clive. Ah, <laughs> oh, Clive, were you able to... I was. <laughs> and we fade to black. And passed out. <laughs> All right, now we'll let the dialogue go. So Northreach is to be a fortress after all. Well, it will certainly help to hold back the thralls. There's no denying that. Though I doubt it will come as much consolation to the townspeople whose worldly goods are confiscated to pay for it. They deserve to be heard, Clive. To have a say in this new empire the Duke means to build. Sadly, his eminence values their obedience more than their opinions and hopes to reassert the authority of the state. So, like, do they not know that... They probably don't know that Dion's still alive, too, so the mm -hmm. monarchy is just in complete shambles. Opinion, ...and would rather their destinies were in your hands. The soldiers, meanwhile, are content to follow their orders. And not just because of the Duke's rank, but because of his vision. I thought as much. Had I sworn to protect Sambrek? I dare say I too would want nothing more than to see it rise from the ashes. Thank you for trying. Sorry, but but the battle is lost. Only the Phoenix and uh, Rosaria can do that. <laughs> <laughs> what happened to your uniform? I handed it in, along with my resignation. Oh, that was quick. Wish them well, but that I owe it to those I love to call it a day. But why? Because I realize what really matters to me. 
Not following some nobleman's orders for the sake of it, but protecting what I care about. Protecting Northreach. I honestly don't know when those monsters will return, but I'm certain they're not finished with us yet. And when they do come back, we need to be ready for them. We need to stand together, all of us. And with you to lead us, my lady, I reckon we can do it. It was you who finally convinced me, Clive. There's no point following orders if they go against everything you believe. Indeed. All of us, standing together. That has always been Northreach's best hope. And one which still lies within our grasp. We have only to turn our attentions to the true enemy. Thank you, Philippe, for showing me what I must do. Anything for you, milady. Speaking of uh, standing together, would you mind if I borrowed a few of the lads from the Vale to help keep watch around the town? I fear his eminence has loftier tasks in mind for the guard. Not at all. Be my guest. Wouldn't be the first time. I like I like the new outfit for Philippe. It's good. Yeah. Maybe hope Glow up. For yeah. Glow up. Yes. Especially with men like you and Philippe to champion our cause. I, for my part, shall continue to work upon the Duke, in the stubborn belief that I might still tempt him into joining hands. But I suspect I shall have to call upon your aid again. Until then, Clive. Until then. I don't know, Sabine. Just get her to do it. <laughs> <laughs> She seems like she was making good headway, embarrassing him and uh, calling him out on his bullshit. 